Uh, my name is Osamu Ito. I'm a general manager of uh, Mitsubishi Corporation Brunei. The Mitsubishi Corporation uh, involved various uh, business in Brunei. Uh, core business is energy, uh, natural gas and upstream activities, but also oh, we are involved in other projects like uh, petrochemical projects or agriculture projects. Uh, this region has uh, quite a uh, rich for the solar energy. Uh, for example, our TSB project, our actual daily output of uh, power generation is about uh, 4,000 to 4,000. 1,800 kilowatt hour per day, but our original design was 3,700 kilowatt hour per day. It means that our actual results is better by 10 to 30 percent. It means that it's a kind of proof that how Brunei is a high potential for solar energy. Our uh, My name is Nakahara. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I don't know how many minutes do I have? Oh, no? Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Well, sure, of course. Um, the professor kindly introduced me and uh, mentioned that I was in London and also in Beijing, two totally different uh, cultures I have experienced. But um, before that, when I was very young, uh, perhaps uh, uh, similar to your age, uh, in my 20s. I lived in Brazil for two years, and uh, in my 30s, I lived in North America, uh, New York, and uh, Vancouver, Canada. And then I lived in Tokyo for 15 years. Then at my um, early 50s, I went to London, then Beijing. So I have... Uh, um, different uh, uh, or diversified experiences in living uh, in different cities and uh, uh, having a business businesses with uh, many different people. And what I will uh, discuss with you today is uh, basically my experience in dealing with uh, people, different people, and uh, living in different places. But uh, I uh, want to summarize what I will say in this uh, paper, that is, uh, what is Mitsubishi Group? I will say that energy, the environment, and natural resources, in the broad sense, uh, at the top of my agenda. I believe these issues have become more important than ever as modernization and industrialization quickly spread around the globe. Japan was the first country to successfully modernize in Asia, despite the fact that it is not a resource-rich country except for human resources. The current strength of Japan lies in the fact that it has developed environment-related technologies and is now one of the most energy-efficient and green countries. As a result, I am confident that Japan has a lot to offer to the global community today regarding these issues. On this occasion, as co-chair, I hope to play a constructive role supporting a discussion and encouraging a lively debate over how we should develop an ideal global community together as global corporate citizens. Mitsubishi Netherlands itself, we have uh, 12 people, but uh, including uh, four uh, subsidiaries. In total, I think around 100 people uh, working for our uh, subsidiary companies. The Mitsubishi Corporation invests money uh, in such a business, but the uh, Mitsubishi Corporation chooses a shareholding company located in the Netherlands. Then uh, Mitsubishi Corporation's money through Netherlands to uh, all over the world. We are now more than 40 uh, shareholding companies are uh, managing uh, by ourselves. Uh, the location is very important for us. Amsterdam 
very close to international airport. Only one stop by train, uh, 20 minutes by car, and has a very specialized companies. Yes, uh, we've just started a corporate mentoring activity this April. We have established a CVC for Mitsubishi Corporation, Metals Group. And uh, we are now uh, looking for a new technology that can be related to the uh, metal sector and mining sector uh, and globally. Well, and what would you say are the main benefits of being in the Asian region at the moment? Of course, our uh, Asian market is the main market for the, uh, our business. I mean, the uh, metals business, the mining business uh, for Mitsubishi. So that's the biggest advantage, I think. Well, and, and the biggest challenges? Uh, you know, uh, we are Mitsubishi like a uh, typical traditional large company. So not everyone supports the idea to have CVC inside a company. So there are some people who are skeptical of a CVC. So to protect CVC, showing the good result in the company, that's a challenge. Cool. And how do you go around convincing them uh, that the other way is better? I think the simplest way is to show the good result, making deal, which is uh, valuable for the growth of the company, to get uh, valuable information, showing, uh, creating new business. Uh, that's the way. Go cool, absolutely. And what are your expectations looking ahead? Expectation? Yes, we would like to make oh, like mm, at least five new deals within a year and consecutively until the fifth year. And after that, we would like to uh, continue making contribution for the growth of the portfolio company. And we would like to make a good return in the long run. Cool, so the future looks bright. So finally, obviously we're here today at the GCV Asia Congress. Um, what brought you here? I'm so excited to uh, join uh, this event again in the future because this is a very good event to have a good network, uh, exchanging opinion with the people who are in this industry. So yeah, I really like this event. Well, that's great to hear. Efei, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ishikawa. I'm from uh, Mitsubishi company, Thailand. I'm a group leader for the infrastructure and logistics group of uh, Mitsubishi Company in Thailand. Um, Mitsubishi Corporation is uh, uh, how to say global integrated business enterprise which develops and operates businesses across virtually every industry, including the industrial finance, energy, metal, machinery, chemicals, and living essential and environmental business. And our activity is basically trading. And that is our traditional activity. But nowadays, we, our activity uh, has been expanded beyond the traditional operation of trading as we uh, participate to the development of natural resources or investment to the uh, retail business or infrastructure project or financing product, product or uh, manufacturing of industrial pro product. Hello everyone. It's my pleasure and privilege to convey my sincere congratulations and best wishes to you all on the celebratory occasion of Saharin Energy's 20th anniversary. The numerous challenges and setbacks Saharin Energy experienced until recently are finally behind us. And I think it is fair to say that the company has firmly established itself in the region as a trusted supplier of oil and gas. Today, nearly 10% of Japan's LNG imports come from Saharin. That is a remarkable achievement and one that Mitsubishi Corporation is very proud to be associated with. So I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to be with you today 
to thank all those who have played a part in our success. We How would you assess the agreement to work together with Group TCV? Yeah, I, I think it's a very much workable. You know, actually, BC has been the seeking for or chances to make an investment in, uh, you know, how to say, proto business, especially container terminal business. And uh, spending, I guess, uh, one year, uh, we are going around to uh, find out. Uh, figure out uh, who is the best partner for us to go together. And uh, finally, we end up with, uh, you know, Group TCB. Actually, uh, their way of thinking, TCB the way of thinking is, uh, you know, matching us. And also people is very good. And also the asset they have is kind of stable, you know, in the, you know, stable operation. So I guess, uh, we think uh, Mitsubishi and Group TCB is, uh, you know, good, you know, the marriage. The world is changing rapidly and we are facing new challenges every day. For example, the rapid rise of Asia, changes in global governance, broad population growth and aging societies, the quest to secure stable sources of water, food, energy, and so on. While these changes present challenges, they also present opportunities. The new champions will quickly pick up on these changes, develop a clear vision, and create new business domains. There will be the companies, organizations, and the individuals who shape our very future. Society's expectations and demands for companies have transformed in recent years. I have always emphasized the importance of promoting business in the interest of all stakeholders, including our planet. We must consider quality growth from the vantage point of all people around the world, and not only with the interests of specific individuals companies or countries in mind. This means assessing things like sharing the benefits of economic growth, growth sustainability, diversification of regions and players, global governance, and nurturing young people who will shape the future. Unless we consider all these things very carefully in terms of quality growth, everyone. I have a very esteemed guest with me tonight, Mr. Shiozaki, CMD Mitsubishi Corporations India. Welcome, sir. This is your first time to PWL. How are you finding it? You know, I thought the Indian people only likes uh, cricket and badminton, but I was wrong. Well, we love wrestling. That's what I found out tonight, yes. Well, we've heard that you also love wrestling and that's why you're here. Yes, I know. Of course, we have the sumo wrestling as well as we do have the regular wrestling and we have several gold medalers uh, in Japan as well. So I've been fun watching the wrestling in Japan too. So what is the difference between sumo wrestling and regular wrestling? Which one is more fun? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, sumo wrestling is totally different. They're big, fat and they don't move too much. This one has a lot of speed and a lot of, a lot of actions and uh, this wrestling is uh, much more fun to me so far. So whenever I've seen sumo wrestling, I find two really huge men hugging each other and playing literally. Would you also want to see Japanese wrestlers coming here and playing? That would be really nice, you know. Like I said, the medalers are there and I'm sure that they would love to uh, find these uh, kind of... I'm not sure they know about these kind of uh, uh, system of the league are here. So I would really like to have, uh, see them in India to play, yes. Oh, superb! Maybe next year we'll have some Japanese players as well. For now, let's go back to the comm box.